At Alto Lake, fishing for bass was fair to good when using nightcrawler worms. At Bill Evans Lake, fishing for bass was fair to good when using bomber lures. Fishing for crappie was fair to good when using rapalu lures. At Caballo Lake, fishing for catfish was fair to good when using cut bait. Fishing for crappie was fair when using small jigs. At Carlsbad Municipal Lake, fishing for bass was good when using crawdad patterned soft plastic lures and crankbaits. Fishing for trout was fair when using power bait, worms, and eggs. At Eagle Nest Lake, fishing for trout was fair to good when using green power bait and corn. Fishing for pike was slow to fair when using swim baits. At Elephant Butte Lake, fishing for bass was good when using Chartres crankbaits. Fishing for white bass was very good when using creb jig spinners. Fishing for catfish was good when using cut shad bait and cut carp bait. At Grindstone Reservoir, fishing for trout was good when using power bait and castmaster lures. At Pecos River, the stream flow near Pecos on Monday morning was 272 CFS. Fishing for trout was good when using worms, panther martin spinners, and woolly bugger flies. At Lake Van, fishing for trout was fair when using spinners. Baton Lake, Bill Evans Lake, Carrizoza Recreation Lake, Lake Van, Perch Lake, Alto Lake, Eagle Nest Lake, and Grindstone Reservoir were only a few of the lakes and rivers stocked this week. And our catch of the week is, drumroll please, Salomon Lara of Las Cruces caught a four-pound smallmouth bass using a chartreuse colored crankbait at Elephant Butte Lake. That's it for this week. I'll be back next week with another fishing and stocking report update. For Crazy Radio, I'm Sarah Morrow.